Hello everyone, this is Teal here. A few days ago I was invited to test out a new iPad drawing app called the AstroPad. The app will mirror whatever you see on the computer screen. So this means that you can use the full feature versions of Photoshop on your computer and see it on your iPad, use it on your iPad. So let's try and see how it works right now. Let's open up the app. Okay, I've already set up my iPad, so I've skipped some setup screens. But you can connect the app to your computer using Wi-Fi or a USB cable. Now, I would suggest using a USB cable because the connection will be much faster. And Wi-Fi, you get some lag, definitely. So I'm using an iPad Air here, and I have to connect it using a lightning to USB cable to my computer. So after you connect it and you are ready to go. This is what you see on the screen. Now you have to download two applications. One will be the iPad application and this one will be the Mac application. They are both are available on the AstroPad website. So you need to get this to work you need to install both applications and use them at the same time. So basically, fire up the one on your iPad and then open the one on your computer. The app costs $49, which is not exactly cheap, but you can get a 7-day demo trial version that you can test it out with all the features unlocked. So you can get to test out everything before you commit to buy, which is great. So now I'm pointing at the mirroring function. Uh, you can mirror a section of your desktop to the iPad or you can mirror the whole full screen. So right now I've mirrored the left side of the desktop to the iPad. I am using a 27 inch monitor here and the screen resolution is quite high. And if you want to mirror everything onto the iPad then what you are going to see on the iPad will be very small. Usually I will just mirror a portion of the screen on the desktop. So in this case, I've mirrored about a quarter of my LCD screen there. And you can just change whatever uh, proportion. You can use the toolbar at the top to drag the portion around. You can resize your screening, but it will be proportional to be about four by three, I think. So you can just drag it around and the iPad will update whatever is that is shown on the desktop. Okay, right now I have uh, mapped the whole screen onto the iPad. You can see that uh, actually everything looks very small. It's very difficult to use your stylus or your finger to click on it, the menu buttons or palettes like that. So you can see that the updating function, the mirroring function is very snappy. There is some lag, but uh, not irritating. It's very good. Okay, let me open up Photoshop and Illustrator on the computer to show you what AstroPad can actually do. Before we get into the actual drawing, let me show you the tools available in AstroPad. So you have this toolbar on the left side with all the shortcut buttons. I have mapped a whole desktop screen here but if you want more working space you can click the little circle disk to hide the toolbar. Now if you are right-hander or left-hander uh, you can switch the toolbars around you can move the circular disk around as well. I am a right-hander so I will move my toolbar to the left side. Okay, right up here on the top, uh, we have the connection. Uh, I have used a USB cable to connect my iPad to the computer, so it shows there the connection, but you can also do it using Wi-Fi. So I pulled out my cable, you can see the connection strength, which is four bars. Now, even though it shows four bars, there, there will be go there's going to be lag. So I usually use the USB cable. So the second button is you can choose to either draw with your finger or draw with your stylus. The app currently supports a few stylus from brands such as Wacom, Adonit or the Hex3 Jaja. Now connecting your stylus to your 
iPad is very easy and very fast. Not all styluses are as easy to connect as this. I have the Creative Stylus 2, which doesn't work. So I'm using version 1. Below the finger and stylus switch, we have the shortcut buttons. You can increase the brush sizes, choose the eraser, get the brush, undo or zoom in. Now all these buttons are mapped onto a specific keyboard button. So if it's a brush increase or brush size decrease, you are actually mapped onto the control bracket or control left bracket. So you can change your mapping, keyboard mapping using the preferences on the Astro Pad Mac app. Now strange thing is um, on some applications the eraser button is not mapped to the letter E. For example in Illustrator the eraser is actually shift E. So if you use Illustrator to draw a lot like me you might want to change the keyboard mapping to shift E instead of just E. You can use this circular disk uh, to hide the toolbar to get more drawing space. Now the circular disk can also be used to map uh, the size of the mirror area. Let me open up a file first. I'm going to open up an illustrator file that I drew yesterday with the AstroPad app. Click once and you will hide the toolbar and click and hold, you'll be able to move the mapping area. So in this case, I've moved it to the top left so that I can see the illustrator menu at the top and also the two bars on the left side. Usually I'll move it just a bit more to the right side so I can see everything and have access to everything with my stylus. Okay, let me show you what's on my desktop. Yep, that's the top left portion that I have mapped onto the iPad. Press and hold and you can scale down the mirrored image to a full screen. Or you can use the 100% or full screen button at the top when you are in the resizing mode. Okay, let's go down the toolbar again. Um, on the bottom left now, you have the button for the settings. And you can change a few settings, basically the brightness of the screen, your iPad screen, which you can change on your iPad anyway. Then you have the magenta line preview, which will show you strokes uh, to minimize the lagging. I'll show you later. And you can also choose in finger mode whether you want to have faster drawing or easier scrolling of course you if you want no lag you choose faster drawing and then there's this button that shows you the command keys the shift control alternate and lastly the draw move and zoom buttons which is the functions are actually the same as the circular disk so that's about all to the controls so you can hold the circular disk and you can zoom, pinch and zoom and move anywhere onto the desktop. Very intuitive and fast. One of the amazing features about Astro app is the palm rejection technology. Now you know that palm rejection technology is not new and appears in some other applications such as Wacom Bamboo Paper. Palm rejection technology here in AstroPad works flawlessly. It does not pick up any stray marks left by your fingers or palm. So you can get to rest your palm onto the iPad and draw as naturally as you would on a piece of paper. So right now I am drawing using Illustrator CS5, the desktop version on my iPad. So I have access to all the functions, all the menus, keyboard shortcuts, and the vector quality of that. Let me do a quick sketch of our car. You can see how responsive the lines are. There's almost no lag. Now even though there is, technically there is lag, but the 
purple, the magenta lines, they will come out first before the actual lines appear on Illustrator. This is seriously good. I mean, there's no discernible lag. That's quite impressive. Let's try the pressure sensitivity of the stylus I have here. Now this is would be Illustrator and it's able to pick up the pressure sensitivity. Now let me zoom in a bit closer. How good the pressure sensitivity is really depends on your stylus. I don't think the Wacom Creative Stylus I'm using is that good, but you definitely can get thin or thick strokes. Yeah, check out the magenta lines that appear faster than the black strokes that are coming out. Okay, let me switch to Photoshop now. Create a new file. Okay, the file is created. Now the dialog box is actually on the center of the desktop screen. I, I wish I cannot see, so I have to move it down. And okay, let's move it back again. Pinch, zoom. Okay, let's try and draw some strokes using Photoshop. Now using the shortcut buttons on the left, I can increase the brush size very quickly. And it's really convenient. Now, um, you, I have the pressure sensitivity on the stylus, but I cannot seem to get it to work in Photoshop. I think there's a bug somewhere. This is Photoshop CS5 and I'm using Mac OS 10.10.2. So I've already alerted the AstroPad support about this bug. I have tried to change the brush settings but the pressure just does not work. I found a workaround though and it's quite simple but you need to have a tablet an extra tablet beside you. This is my old Intuos 3 Wacom tablet. So the workaround is you just plug the tablet into your computer and use the stylus which will definitely work with pressure. Just draw something on your screen and this activates the pressure sensitivity and now that it's activated you can now go back to AstroPad and AstroPad will be able to register pressure sensitivity from your stylus. This is definitely a bug so because every time I switch from Photoshop to Illustrator, Illustrator will work and when I switch back to Photoshop, Photoshop stops working with the pressure sensitivity again. Okay, clear screen. Let's draw. Oh, did you see that red circular button with a cross inside? Yeah, that pop pops when you leave stray marks on the screen, but of course, the palm rejection technology works so well that they won't draw anything on the screen because they know that it's your finger and not your stylus. Okay, let me draw the same card that I drew in Illustrator earlier. Again, you can see that the lag is... There's almost no lag. It's pretty amazing. You can change brush sizes. Just draw very quickly. And that's about it. So let's go back to see what's on the my desktop. Yep. 
Okay, let me show you how fast the response is of AstroPad. What you draw on the iPad will, how fast it is, will it appear on the desktop. So I'm just going to draw the same car again. Now I'm using Photoshop, so I do very quick strokes. You can see that it updates almost immediately, instantly on the desktop. So you can actually just use your iPad as a, like a normal wired graphics tablet. And it's cheaper than your graphics tablet because it costs only $49, but compared to other apps, $49 is much more expensive, but you get a lot of functionality. Okay, look at this. The pressure sensitivity has stopped working again. <laughs> Okay, let me clear the screen and use the workaround just now that I explained. Yep, now well, it works. The pressure sensitivity is back. So every time pressure sensitivity stops working, I have to use the normal stylus on my Intuos to get it to work again. So um, it's a bug, but I think they should be able to solve it very easily. But overall, this is a really powerful app. Thank you for watching this review. I will recommend you to go to astropad.com to download the 7 day preview with full features unlocked to try it out for yourself before committing to buy. This is an impressive app. I mean, it can turn your iPad into a Cintiq. That is really awesome.